This paper has mass. Yes. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Is this paper has a temperature? Yes. Yeah. Moving on. Is this paper has a current? Yes. Yeah. Moving on. Is this paper has an amount of substance? Yes. Yeah. Moving on. Is this paper has a luminous intensity? Uh, it's zero, but yeah. Zero? It's not emitting any. It is technically emitting light. Yes, how it is emitting light? If you put it against the sun. If it was not emitting it light. Is it transparent? I, no. No. If it was not. Is it translucent? Yes. If it was not emitting light, we wouldn't see it. Okay. So this one has no luminous intensity. Well, it does, but a little bit. If, if it, it was a mirror. If it had zero luminous intensity, then it would be invisible, no? Oh. Because it wouldn't emit any light. So this, this one has some, definitely some luminosity. Some. A very small amount, but still some. So how much physics we squeeze out from this lemon? Oh, this is not lemon. Paper. Paper. A lot. Okay, so let's make a lemonade. You mean paper? Let's paper squeeze this, uh, all the physics out of this paper. Squeezing it, you also created some other physics. Oh no. It's the mass. No. Did you change the shape? No. Well, yes. Yes, right. I did change the shape. Okay. So now that will take us to the next conversation. We'll have it next time. Bye. What is physical quantity? Uh, well, it's a value that describes a certain thing about an object. Um, can you give me an example? Well, I guess you could say that for example, that phone right there, it's uh, nine centimeters in width. Uh, let me take uh, your bag and let me see what is inside your bag. Yeah. Um, if I find something, PSA. then I can use it as an example. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, this is an A4 paper, right? Yes. Do you think A4 paper has physical quantity? Well, yeah. It has its length, its width, and its height, which is this very small thickness. Uh, so, I thought this is two-dimensional, but the way you are thinking of, as if this it has three dimensions. If it was two-dimensional, you wouldn't be able to hold it. It wouldn't exist in our That's reality. Right. If it was two-dimensional, I mean, think about it. If you go to Staples and you buy a pack of so like 500 So, for example, pages, if you put one after one after one, and yeah. if you pile it up. If you make a huge stack of then it it's going volume to... volume become obvious, right? Yeah. But the volume doesn't become obvious, but that doesn't mean it volume is zero. It's not zero. No, of course it's not. Right. Okay, so length with height. And that is the volume of this A4 paper. Okay, so A4 paper has physical quantities. How many? Well, it has its length, its width, its height, its volume, its temperature, for example, <laughs> its, air, its surface area. Uh, and those are just six of them. There were a bunch of other qualities. Mass? That I Did could... you mention about mass? Oh yeah, mass as well. Uh, I g okay, can you guess uh, what is the what would be the mass? I know you are not a digital scale, but what if I ask you to turn yourself as a digital scale? Uh, okay, what is the mass? Even most digital scales aren't accurate enough to measure one sheet of paper, okay. but. The thing is oh yeah that's it off. that's a that's a really clever idea okay put yeah. your hand again put your hand again so and now, I want you to become a digital scale and I'm gonna ask you okay so this is our digital scale all right mr. Uh, digital scale go to the I think this is one gram. this is one gram right yeah and so then one two, two three, three four, four and that's three five pages. six seven, seven. So one gram divided by seven is about 0 0.15. 0 0.15 gram, right? Yes. We're gonna take you to the lab to verify this uh, this guy. Uh, so this, even this A4 paper has lots of physical quantities, right? Yeah. How can you measure the physical quantity? I mean, uh, it depends on the quantity. For a temperature, there are a few ways to measure it for a solid. Uh, for length, you could use a meter stick. A meter stick. Meter stick has how many centimeters? Well, a meter stick has 100 centimeters. How many millimeters? A thousand. What is the smallest graduation of a meter stick? A millimeter. Uh, uh, why not nanometers? Our human eyes can't process anything. Ma nanometer, and which is yeah. 10 days to negative? Nine. 
negative nine. What a what a picometer, negative and, twelve. Yeah. Oh. Even if they make the ruler with the picometer, our human eyes won't be able to use that. No. What about millimeter? You think our human eyes would be able to process that? Well, yeah. That's why you're on every single meter stick. Okay, so millimeter is the way to go, right? Yeah. Why do we have to use the meter? Um, I mean, it's the standard and it's part of the metric system. And the metric system is super easy to work with. Is there any telemeter? Well, yeah, but telemeters are... Uh, Not so common. Yeah, very, very big. A telemeter could be used, for example... I don't know, to measure the distance between the Earth and, and Mars. Moon. Uh, Earth and Moon, right? Earth and Mars, I'd say. Because uh. if you think about the Moon, it's about 250,000 kilometers away, which is 250 million, which is not even 1 billion yet. So we can't even... So even the Moon is only like 0.25 gigameters away. So... Even when we think about Mars, it's not that far away. So when we're thinking of a telemeter, we might be thinking... Oh, so how many telemeters Mars stay away from Earth? Probably barely like 0.0005 really? or something like that. I think a telemeter could be more accurately used to, for example, measure the distance between the Sun and Pluto. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Distance between Sun and Pluto. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah. So, for example, you could even search that up. And picometer? Yeah. Picometer between the distance between my two here? Uh, no. Picometer is much smaller than the distance between uh, two here. That's about a micrometer. A picometer is on the scale of like, well, not bacterial organisms yet, but like cells. Okay. So now we don't use the picometer and we don't use the telemeter. We use the all, although they are all member of the metric system as you We mentioned. usually use well, all we the use, ones on the region physics. Uh, we use too. the SI unit. Okay. Yeah. Now, speaking of SI unit, how many fundamental quantities? Oh, what is fundamental quantity? And what is the fundamental quantity of this guy? Well, didn't we just discuss it? And how many fundamental quantities are there? Seven, but mostly we'll be talking about electricity, temperature, mass, length, and time. Okay, so speaking of uh, length, this guy has a length, right? Yeah. All right, what is the uh, SI unit for length? Meters. This guy has a mass. What is the SI unit for mass? Kilograms, although this it guy... wouldn't be practical to measure the mass of paper with kilograms. This guy also has a temperature. What is the SI unit for temperature? Uh, Kelvin. This guy also has electricity, believe it or not. Well, <laughs> it doesn't have much current flowing through it. But I, I guess you could say that for metal connected to a circuit. This is not a conductor, but mm -hmm. this is made of atom. An atom made of electron and proton. Well, yeah, but those electrons are not moving in one set direction at any certain time. If, if electron doesn't move, that's a static electricity. Well, oh, you might be right. You might so. be right. So there must be some electricity over here, right? Yeah. A very tiny, it's not zero by the way, is it? No. Okay, so how can you measure it? Uh, what is the SI unit for electricity, electric current? Well, that would be amps or amperes. That's M, M. okay. So what else left uh, did we cover? Oh, we covered four, luminous intensity. Uh, what is luminous intensity? Well, no one really cares about luminous intensity, but I guess is it's really the- light coming from? Yeah, it's the amount of light that uh, comes. Amount of light. Mm. Okay, what about the mole? Is there any more amount of substance? Is there any... Oh, this one has definitely amount of substance. We're thin, so I'd say it probably has somewhere within the realm of 10 to the 8 or 10 to the 9 atoms. atoms and so. one mole is 10 to the 23 atoms or so. So how many mole of atoms this paper has? Well, it's approximately, uh, I'd say... One picomole. One picomole, right? Yeah. 